us, uh, Josephine Mingi. Josephine is the CEO of an organization called Britain, which is based in Tanzania. Britain stands for Building Rural Incomes Through Entrepreneurship. Josephine, thanks for joining us. Glad to have you here. Um, I'm wondering, just to start off, could you tell us a little bit more about Britain? And can you talk about the role that you've seen digital technology playing with the farmers you work with over the last couple of years and, and this year, how it's been changing? Okay, thank you, Alicia. Um, thank you very much, and I'm glad to be on board as a panelist. Um, so I'll just talk about Brighton a little bit and say that uh, Brighton, the long form is Building Rural Income Through Entrepreneurship. Uh, we started in 2011, and uh, as you have an agricultural transformation through agricultural development initiatives designed to facilitate market access, enhance agribusiness competitiveness, increase productivity and improve access to inputs and finance for value chain actors. So our biggest work has been, and our entry point has been smallholder farmers. Uh, and, and our job has been to integrate them into value chains and commercialize their farming so as to move them into a business frame of mind that harnesses their competitive advantage. So what do we do? We, our approach is basically understanding the market system and understanding what is it that's going to bring about a large systemic change uh, we work closely. Um, we all know that farmers operate in a complex environment and we work with all the market actors, um, the government and the smallholder farmers to develop business consortiums that are built on foundations that can be replicated across other value chains and are sustainable. So let me talk about our work and what we've done under digitization. Um, initially, our digitization interventions focused on provision of information. Uh, mainly market prices, extension information, as well as aggregation of inputs and to some extent aggregation of produce to smallholder farmers. And I did see uh, one of the platforms put up by Edwin, the Farm to Market Alliance, which we actually were partners on in Tanzania. So for SMEs, we worked on inventory management systems that included ordering. And as he said, as we said, uh, this digitization interventions, they started well, but were not sustainable beyond the life of any of the projects. So what we saw is that farmers, and especially the older farmers, do not adopt the systems well, as they didn't find them very relevant to themselves. Uh, most of these apps were managed by farmers themselves and the SM themselves. And once the projects ended, then the apps ceased to be used. They were one time, uh, they were used one time, worked very well, and then they ceased being used. So our analysis of the why, and in reading up on research being done, it's clear that the biggest impact that farmers appreciate is receiving their payments directly on their phones. So we're going to talk about mobiles, the mobile phone being the technology, however basic it is, it is actually what will unlock digitization. Uh, versus having to go to the cooperative or the bank, which is based far from home to access their funds from sale of goods. So interventions that have begun with creating efficiencies in transactions, we have seen are able to encourage to aggregate their produce and inputs. And we realize that we need to begin digitizing transactions to enable the older generation um, and the farmers right now to begin the process of digitizing, but also to increase the number of youth in agriculture, since they are now able to use their phones. And as we all know, um, youth and phones are, uh, well, uh, you know what we are talking about. So we feel that the fulcrum of digitization in agriculture is digitizing agriculture transaction. So what do we see happening in Tanzania? Um, as we said, a large penetration of mobile phones with over 85% of the farmers that we're working with including women owning a phone. Smartphones are not as prevalent as you know because of network and, and of course they're expensive. So what this means is that farmers are now able to access information using the two-way communication from other members of their cooperatives or farm organizations. And they're now able to transact through mobile money. So the other thing we've seen is that there's an increased move by buyers and these are off takers of produce to pay through mobile money um, using the mobile wallets and for buyers who are self-aware and are sourcing directly from the smallholder farmer cooperatives or the community-based organizations, they actually pay directly to the individual farmer, pay the fees to the cooperative, ensuring that the individual farmer actually gets their money directly on their phone. Uh, this has mainly been used in cash crops and it does create a level of transparency that's important for the market system to continue to operate efficiently as the farmer and the trader then have peace of mind in terms of money. We've seen agro dealers and agri input retailers receiving payments through money, uh, through mobile money for inputs. And then uh, when farmers are able to send and receive 
it makes them begin to see the importance of using the mobile phone for other things. So it's all about transaction. So what is the issue? Uh, what are the issues and why adoption is not so good? And I think we've had most of it is one, it is who developed the app and why. And I'm glad to see that the World Bank has gone to private sector in terms of developing. And so the trouble with many of the interventions and applications that have been designed is that they are designed from a development perspective of what we think the market actors and the farmers included need, but are not designed by them to solve the problem and create efficiencies. The development of the concept and the investment process should not come from us, but from market actors in those value chains or service providers that feel it is an opportunity for them to make profits by making the system sustainable. Investments should therefore be made to pilot the intervention, just what the World Bank is doing. Invest once the ideas come in and the design is there, then we test them and we pilot them. So for us to digitize agriculture, mobile companies and other players in the value chains must begin to offer these services that farmers would like to access and make payments for. Secondly, the services offered by mobile companies are targeted at employed people. Take the mobile apps that you have, uh, the mobile money app, look at it and you'll see that the target is urban dwellers, there's water bills, electricity bills, uh, shop online for certain products, clothes and everything else. But nowhere can you find a link to purchase maize in Kibaigua, which is one of the biggest maize markets in Tanzania, or pay the cattle dip services or pay for the purchase of a cow at the auction in Karatu district. Um, the third is a high cost of mobile transactions, leading to a preference to the cash out, to cash out one big transaction, and hence do subsequent transactions in cash. We are seeing that once farmers are paid their selling their produce, they immediately cash out from the mobile wallet, which means, and any other subsequent payments are made in cash, any other purchases are made in cash. Uh, of course, as a result of the cost of transactions, but also the fact that uh, there are no other services offered within uh, the payment service. So if the farmer wants to buy a cow or any livestock, which they normally do as savings, they do this in cash. The system must be developed in a way that the farmer is able to use their money within the same system, making the system more relevant to them. And this applies also to the SMEs and the agro dealers who receive payments in mobile money, but also pay for loan for their bulk inputs uh, in cash. So what are we seeing as the role of digitization? Uh, we see that digitization can make service provision cheaper for both the service provider and for the farmer or the business person accessing the services. So as market facilitators and market uh, development uh, experts, we are talking about bundling of services, for instance, bundling crop insurance with individual loans, which of course the mobile companies are now pro are providing, as well as enabling transactions for inputs and payments for produce to be done through the mobile phone for it to be ideal. Partnerships must begin between mobile uh, phone companies and other service providers to make the services more efficient for the value chain actors, enabling them to transact their business this way. And, and I, I believe once COVID came through, I think the biggest thing we saw was transactions actually being done through mobile money, people ordering things online. Uh, but because the systems are not as efficient, then they didn't do so well. Um, what this will do also is to increase the reach of services, not only to farmers in cooperatives, in the collectives that we're talking about, but also for those not in cooperatives who are able to aggregate their produce, knowing full well they'll be paid directly. So therefore they are able to take their produce to where the aggregation center is and are able to access other services such as loans and inputs. As we know, this constitutes the majority of farmers, the people who are not in cooperatives. This will also enable individual farmers to access individual loans and build an individual credit profile. So Tanzania is leading in putting policies in place where mobile money operators are now registering as microfinance operators. And this is a huge advantage for farmers and SMEs. We've seen it as a huge advantage because um, if mobile, um, mobile um, money operators, actually my microfinance operators, it means that the people who are in banks, who are not able to access banks which are basically in the urban areas, are actually able to save, they're able to borrow, and they're able to transact. And this makes a lot of sense. So that we stop, I mean, this will reduce the number of interactions that we have. Um, so the linkage of the mobile telephone line with all your other identification and business means businesses that Tanzania is doing, means that we're heading to a point where individuals will be able to access loans without the traditional collateral. So this is the role that we see. 
um, we see um, mobile, the mobile phone, however basic it is, I believe it is what will get us to where we are in terms of digitizing agriculture. Because the farmers need to integrate into the value chains and the value chain actors need to drive the digitization of the process. Thank you. You gave us so many uh, rich examples there that we can talk about and come back to uh, once we're back in the full panel. And you mentioned bundling again, which is coming up over and over. Um, you also talked about um, sort of the importance of the experience of the, the farmer with digital services. And so you mentioned that during COVID, people started buying more online, but it, they didn't do so well. So first experience has to be a good one. Um, I am going to go to Jaheel next, but I want to ask you real quickly, when you said that, that their first experience, you know, maybe wasn't such a good one. Um, was that, again, because these platforms weren't built for the kinds of transactions that they wanted to to complete or some other issue? I just am curious about that because it is so important that to that stickiness issue that uh, Edwin brought up, that the experience be a good one when you adopt a new technology. So, so could you say a little bit about that? Yes, it's because the platforms are not built for exactly, I mean, they do not address the problems that they, or the challenges that they're having. So they do not address, uh, I want to buy a cow, I want to pay for it, I want to be able to access credit, that didn't happen. And so uh, the experience was not a good one. And so when we start again, I think we need to look at it in terms of solving the problems that they have versus the problems we think that they have. 